Hey, thanks for joining me for another video. This is a 1992 Australian IMCR or Individual Meal Combat Ration. This is a super rare ration and this will be its first full review on YouTube, so you should stick around. If you are enjoying my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. This is an Australian IMCR, or Individual Meal Combat Ration. Now, this one is a menu E. There are only five menus, A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, and as you can see, that this one uh, comes packaged in the same plastic bag as do the CR1Ms and the PR1Ms. And uh, this particular one is a 1992 example. Now, these are very rare, these rations, and the reason they are rare is because they have a can. Anytime you have a can in a ration, uh, normally it's the first thing to go, and it destroys the ration. Now, as you can see, this one is on its way out. I was going to try and save this ration, uh, but as you can see, it started to leak. When I received it from the seller, and thank you very much for sending this to me, uh, it wasn't leaking. So this has only started leaking in the last month or so. These rations were in production from 1985 to sometime in the 90s. I don't have any information uh, about when exactly they were phased out, all I've been told that it was sometime in the 90s. Uh, so if anyone knows any history of this ration, if they could please put it in the comments, that would be great. Now, these are similar in concept to uh, what the Americans would have had, and that would be a MCI. Or similar to a Canadian IMP, or even... Uh, later on, the American uh, MRE. So obviously, at this time, the Australian Army had an individual meal, uh, but then in the 90s, they decided to phase it out and just go with the Australian CR1M. Uh, and it's been that way ever since. Now, I'm going to try and open this, but I'm going to try and save some of the packaging if I can, because like I said, these are a super rare ration and I don't want to destroy it. And I'm going to see if I can make some sort of display out of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and open it from the bottom and we'll see if we can remove all the contents without destroying the bag. All right, let's see what we can get out. First up, we've got a tube of something. And it is, uh, there you go, sweetened condensed milk. Uh, it's obviously expanded and it's blown the seal at the back there. Um, made by Unex International in Victoria. Uh, very interesting there. It has a pack date there of uh, fifth month of 1992. And next up we have Lifesavers Thirst, the candy with a hole. Look at that. Made in Australia by Lifesavers uh, in Lane Cove in New South Wales. Very interesting. All right, and we have uh, Instant Coffee, uh, 3.5 grams served there, packaged in May of 92. We have uh, four sachets there of sugar. We have a Lislander, something like that. Uh, English tea. And we have a Fred, of course. Very good. Uh, we have a beverage base powder lime, 10 grams. And we have the scouring pad obviously with a little bit of detergent in there. And we have a fairly large serve there of ginger nut 
uh, biscuits, 85 grams there, made by Arnott's. So, who knows what they're going to be like. And we have a package there of green light waterproof matches. And we have our tin. Uh, now we do know that this tin has leaked. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is possibly open this from the uh, bottom and see if I can save it somehow. Now you can see uh, on the top there that it has bulged and we have some rust. Um, but definitely this is not going to be uh, consumable. Um, I'm, I, I do want to try and eat everything in a ration but geez I'm not crazy so yeah look I don't think I'll be having any of that. And finally uh, we have um, a package there which would be toilet paper or a napkin if you like. And we have a little green square. Now this is a packaging square. So obviously if um, you wanted to complain about this ration down the track, you would obviously give the date and you would say that it was at a green square and that would be the person who packaged it. Now, uh, there's the little bag there. Looks like I've saved it and I might see if I can, like I said, make some sort of presentation out of this because this is a really rare ration and you will not see another one uh, in this condition. And the reason is, is the tins. Uh, they just destroy everything. Everything just gets covered in uh, whatever liquids inside that tin. Now, here we have our instructional sheet. Let's have a look at that. Uh, I'll just uh, hold that still. If you want to pause the video, you might better read it. But it goes on and describes uh, how you make up each of the components. And on this side, it describes the five menus, which is A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, and it is 1992. Now, uh, menu A had beef tortellini, or beef with tortellini. Uh, biscuit shortbread and fruit juice powder. Menu B, sweet and sour meatballs, biscuit sandwich, fruit juice powder lemon. Menu C, chunky chicken and vegetable, biscuit shortbread, fruit juice powder lime. Menu D, meatballs, bacon and vegetables, biscuit sandwich, fruit juice powder orange. And here we go, menu E, lamb and vegetable with rosemary, Ginger nut biscuits, fruit juice powder, lime. Yeah. So obviously, um, we have something different in ours. We have ravioli with beef sauce. Now obviously at the time, maybe they uh, didn't have any more of the lamb and vegetable, which sucks because that sounds really nice. And they've just thrown in this... Um, what looks like a commercial tin, you know, something that you would find in the supermarket and replaced the main. Now, that's a little bit disappointing, um, but I don't know if uh, the other IMCRs had tins of other, uh, whether these are all tins. And uh, this is a tin now because obviously they didn't have any of the lamb and rosemary, uh, which would be really sad because if this was a, originally in a retort pouch, it probably would still last and still be fine. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, that's not the case. Um, but anyway, all right, guys, look, that's the full contents there of the ration. Look at it. It's not too bad at all. You've got a couple of hot drinks, a, a cold beverage. Um, you've got a heap of biscuits here. Uh, you've got everything. It's a really good little compact ration. All right, guys, we'll be right back and we'll start to uh, tasting. All right, guys, here it is. Everything is uh, out onto the tray. Um, and doesn't it look great? Uh, hopefully some of this is going to be consumable. Now, we'll start off first with our tea. Uh, I think you pronounce that Lysander or Lysander. Uh, Lysander. Anyway, uh, it is uh, made by um, Lysander Trading in Singapore. And it is a two gram sachet of English tea. So uh, let's get that going. Let's get that going. There it is. Now it is in a nice foil uh, bag. So hopefully this might not be too bad. I'll have a bit of a smell of that. Camera would focus. There you go. 
and give it a go. Mmm, smells like tea. All right, and next up we'll try our instant coffee. Uh, 3.5 grams served there, packed in May of 1992. Okay, it's a very fine powder coffee. Uh, obviously some sort of spray dry coffee. Uh, we'll have a bit of a smell of that. Yeah, look, that smells not too bad. Um, you know, looks all right. Can't see any um, white mold or anything like that. There's no clumping. It's all very dry. Oh, that looks good. Now it didn't come with a spoon, so here's one from a modern uh, CR1M. And next up, we're going to try our beverage base powder lime. This is a 10 gram serve there, uh, packed by E.L. Bell Packaging in Melbourne. And it does say, add contents of this sachet to 300 mils of water and stir. Now, it feels like it's a little bit caked up in there. Uh, obviously, it's probably got some moisture at some stage, so I don't know how well this will go. Um, but we'll try and work it down if we can. Uh, it's not really working. Uh, we'll just have to go for it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's the wrong colour. I'll just get some of it out on my hand here so you can see it. Yeah. Look, that's obviously got some sort of mould. Um, I'll just have a bit of a smell of that. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, look, unfortunately, um, that's obviously got some sort of dry mold in there. It has a real, um, you know, cleaning chemical kind of smell to it. Something you use to clean a toilet or something similar. Yeah, so look, we're not going to be trying that one. All right, next up we might open up our ginger nut biscuits. Now these are made by the Arnott uh, Company um, and they are an 85 gram serve there. Um, packaging looks pretty good. Oh, we have some sort of pack date on the side here. Uh, pack 2221D. Um, yeah, not really sure uh, how that works, um, but anyway. Uh, we do have something that's leaked from it. Now, I'm pretty sure that would be the uh, sweetened condensed milk. Uh, but anyway, let's open this up and we'll have a look. Now, I'll try and open it without destroying the packet, if I can. Okay, you get all eight biscuits there, and you know what? They look pretty good. Um, they don't have a really toxic smell to them yet, um, but anyway, I'll get a bit of a closer sniff and we'll see how bad they are. Yeah, look, they're not bad. Look, they do have a bit of a stale smell to them. They don't have a rancid smell, you know, that real chemical mothball smell. Uh, they do have a smell, however, it's kind of that typical stale smell. You know, if you've ever tried uh, an old food, you get that real stale smell, and that's what that is. And uh, next up, we might uh, open up uh, Lifesavers Thirst. Candy with a hole, made in Australia by Lifesavers. Um, so I'm not really sure what flavor these would be. Uh, maybe lemon. Anyway, we'll try and open one up and we'll get one out. Now again, don't want to really destroy the packaging if I can help it. However, uh, these aren't really made to be resealed. Uh, they're generally a one-time show. 
Oh, that's a bit of a bit of an odd colour. There you go. They almost look like they're almost like a wholemeal sort of look to them. I'm pretty sure they weren't that color originally. I'm pretty sure they were more of a light yellow. Uh, and I think that's what they are. I think they're a lemon flavored um, lifesaver. Uh, we'll have a bit of a smell. Yeah, look, I'm not getting nothing uh, smell wise from it. Definitely looks like it's oxidized a little bit there. Uh, it doesn't look great. Looks more like a bread donut than, uh, than anything else. And we have also have our sweet and condensed milk. Now we know this is going to be bad. Uh, look at it, it's blown up. Um, it's taken that pressure out the only way it can, which is obviously through the crimp at the bottom there. It did have a date on there, which I can't read. Um, oh, actually it has a date on there. Um, that's May of 1992. And like all uh, sweet condensed milk tubes, they do have the puncher seal on the top there and the little probe there to seal it. Now I'm hoping this is not going to explode everywhere, so I might just do it that way. Oh, okay. Look, and that is a little bit darker than you would expect. Uh, normally they are a little bit uh, more creamy or more milkier. That's definitely oxidized there a fair bit. Uh, almost to the point where it looks like um, some sad looking peanut butter. Um, but anyway, let's have a bit of a smell of that. Oh jeez. Yeah, I wish I didn't put that on my spoon. Uh, look, that is uh, really, really bad. Oh yeah, it's sour. It's a real sour. Oh my god, that is really, really bad. Um, yeah, look, I'm not going to be uh, trying that one either. I'm afraid. Um, yeah, look, this is these are the things that were never going to last. These tins, the condensed milk, um, the biscuits, and the lifesaver looks like might be our only chance. But we've got to open this tin yet. Oh my god, that's bad. All right, and finally we have. Uh, tin of ravioli to open. Now uh, it is a 300 gram uh, can there and it is a uh, Campbell made in Campbell soups in uh, New S in Victoria somewhere. Um, now uh, this is a commercial product. This will be the sort of thing that you would find in the supermarket uh, at uh, that, this stage in the 90s and obviously it um, was never meant to go into this ration uh, obviously uh, they've substituted so I don't know how bad this is going to be when I try and open it but uh, anyway here goes actually you can see on here I've wiped down this can already and it you can see that it is leaking uh, so it definitely has a little pinhole in it somewhere. So I'm expecting this thing to have a little bit of pressure in there. Uh, and um, we will certainly find that out. Now I'm going to open this from the bottom to see if I can save this tin. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this doesn't uh, just explode. But we will see what this will be like. Um, I'm just running out of battery so I might just do that shortly. All right, we're back with a uh, fresh battery, so we should be good to go. All right, uh, here we go. Let's uh, open this up um, with the Fred, and hopefully this doesn't burst everywhere. All right, I'll see if I can get this a bit closer so you can see it. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Look at that color. Shouldn't it be that color? Oh shit! Oh boy. Oh man. Why do I. Oh! Why do I do this? Oh. Ooh, doesn't smell too bad actually. Oh. I'm kind of getting a, a bit of a smell of the tomatoes. 
but that's all I'm getting. I'm not getting anything that's totally toxic yet. Um, but we'll keep going and we'll try and get this lid off. Oh, fuck, shit. Oh, man. All right. And mind you, this is meant to be pieces of ravioli uh, in a tomato sauce. Um, I'm just going to clean up. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we just cleaned up there. And I've grabbed myself another spoon. Um, and we'll have a bit of a poke around in here. Not really sure why. Um, but um, yeah, let's see if we can find, find a ravioli because... Um, this looks like it's all just sauce. Oh no, there you go. There's a ravioli there. Uh, and the rest of it is the sauce. Um, I'm almost sure it should have been a bit more of a dark red sauce. You can't really see the label, but it would have been a more tomato sauce. Oh, um, you know what, now it's not looking too bad. Um, anyway, let's have a bit of a smell uh, of it just on its own. There we go. We got the camera to focus there. We have a bit of a sniff. Wow. You know what? That doesn't smell too bad at all. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like I could possibly eat that. You know, this uh, condensed milk here, just as soon as you get it near your nose, it just stinks, you know. But this, this almost smells exactly how it should have back in the day. Mm. Anyway, uh, not sure if we will. Uh, probably shouldn't. Um, probably you're all yelling at your uh, TVs going, oh yeah, I wouldn't eat that, wouldn't eat that. Um, yeah. But anyway, that's it all out there. Oh, a bit of green looking stuff there. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, anyway, no, I'm not going to eat it. I'm not an idiot. Um, but I feel like I almost could. Uh, you know this has um, uh, gone all the way to um, botulism land. And, um, and you know, this is going to be uh, make me ill. So I'm definitely not going to eat any of that. I just wanted to, to uh, get it out so I could show you what the contents look like. I had no idea it was going to smell quite as nice as it does, you know, and it's really tempting um, uh, to give it a try, but uh, yeah, definitely not. All right, so we will be trying today. Uh, the only items that we can try is our coffee, our tea, and our ginger nut biscuits, and also our Thirst Lifesavers. So we'll be right back and we'll give a few things a go. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, all we're gonna be trying today is our coffee, our tea, our ginger nut biscuits, and our thirst lifesavers. Sadly, I'm not gonna try this ravioli, even though it doesn't taste, oh sorry, it doesn't smell too bad. I'm sure it tastes bad, doesn't smell too bad. Not like that sweet and condensed milk. Anyway, first up, let's give our coffee a bit of a go. Yeah, that's um, it's uh, black coffee. Um, it uh, doesn't taste too bad. Um, it's it's a very sort of bold coffee. Um, let's have another go. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't actually have a lot of taste at all. It feels like maybe over the years that it's lost a bit of its flavor. Um, it definitely is coffee and it doesn't taste terrible. Um, it is certainly drinkable. It is very mild, however. So that's all right. And uh, next up we have our tea. Um, this didn't smell too bad. Didn't have a lot of aroma. Uh, it is, sorry, just jog my memory. It is an English tea. So anyway, bottoms up. That's not too bad either. 
Yeah, that's all right. Um, yeah, that tastes like any tea that you would buy today. Now, like I said, it was packaged in a foil bag. Uh, most tea sometimes gets uh, packaged in a paper bag, so maybe that makes all the difference. Hmm. That's right. Uh, these, on the other hand, uh, I think these are going to be edible. I don't think they're going to taste great. They do have that classic stale smell, that smell uh, that you get when you've opened up that stale. That's just you'll know it. If anyone's has anything opened anything that's old knows that smell. So anyway, we'll give that a try. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Well, well, that's not good. Cut, man. All right, I'm back. Uh, look, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they're not great. Um, there's a second there where you put it in your mouth and you go, hey, that's great. And then you go, no, no, it's not. It changes. Like there's a millisecond where you're thinking, oh, that's ginger. That's nice. That's, a, that's the way it should taste. And all of a sudden, you just get this chemical sharpness come through, and it is terrible. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to clear my palate uh, with a little bit of this uh, black coffee, which is not too bad. All right. Now, the only other item that we have in this ration is our Thirst Lifesavers. So, um, these have definitely discolored. I'm pretty sure these should be a yellow. What I might do is, is find a picture on the internet and put that up uh, beside this, uh, which will show the original color, because these are definitely not that uh, wholemeal brown color. But anyway, let's give this a try. Yeah, I'm getting lemon. Yeah. I'm going to put it all in. Let's try a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely lemon. Um, it, it, it doesn't taste terrible. You know, it does definitely have a little bit of a, 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 a taste of sour or... or a slight chemical, um, but really, you know what? It's not actually that bad. Hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of getting lemon, but then in the back of your throat, you get this, um, yeah, you get that little bit of a chemical kick. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll have any more of that. Um, seems like it's uh, probably not survived too well. Uh, but this coffee, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Mm, uh, actually, uh, anyway, look, that's it. That's the entire review done. There's only a few things here that we could have tried. I really want to try this ravioli, but uh, I know <laughs> that's going to make me sick. Uh, I thought the biscuits, however, I thought they would have lasted. No one was ever expecting the sweet condensed milk to last. You know, these thirst lifesavers, they're probably okay to eat. They probably just don't taste so good. Uh, and the tea, yeah, that's that's it. That's not too bad. But uh, anyway, overall, what a great ration, what a great video. Um, it was good to show something that no one's ever seen before, and likely no one will see in the future because if they have these tins in them, uh, they leak and they just destroy everything. So. I'd like to thank the guy who sent it to me. Um, I do really do appreciate it. And um, uh, yeah, thanks for the bottom of my heart. It was, um, it was a great gesture to send it. And I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really do uh, appreciate all your comments and all your feedback. And I really would appreciate if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got lots of rations behind me. Uh, and I've got others that are not behind me in boxes. I've got so many rations. I just don't have enough time to make videos. So um, please subscribe and please stick around for those in the future. All right, guys. See ya.